back into our routines this fall. A lot of people are asking, will the real estate market get back to normal after the wild ride it's been on throughout the pandemic? Prices soared and many houses were listed and sold on the very same day. Well, now as vacations end, many would be buyers who got scared away are now expected to start looking for their dream home once again. Good girl. Ben and Kelsey Campbell have been sharing their Waltham condo with Penny for a couple of years. But with a baby on the way, they decided it was time to move. Single family home. We wanted our own space. Um, I wanted a place with a yard for the dog. I did want the separate zones. So whether it was kind of two floors or um, a bigger hallway, just kind of space to expand a little bit more. After seeing the surge in prices over the past year, particularly for single family suburban homes, they didn't know what to expect. It seemed like it's a, really a seller's market in that for us being per prospective buyers that it was going to be this real difficult process. You're hearing about all these horror stories and people putting in multiple offers and not getting it. Despite the challenges, the Campbells are closing on this Natick house. Their success, a potential sign of where the overall market might be heading. The market was really hot earlier this year, but it's starting to stabilize. Daryl Fairweather is Redfin's chief economist. So I think this fall the housing market is going to feel just a little bit less competitive than it was earlier in the year and home buyers will have a little bit easier time getting their offers accepted. So the bidding order rate has dropped in Boston. It's gone from 73% in June to 64% in July. I did have my busiest um, summer ever in my 20 years of doing real estate. Marie Presti is a realtor with offices in Stoneham and Newton. She expects a brisk fall but not a crazy one. And we also do have some buyers who think it's the top of the market. So they are starting to get to the point where they're saying, I may not want to buy right now. This year, we're seeing much more return to fundamentals. I still expect the suburbs and single families to be in extremely high demand due to supply shortages. That said, the city is back in a big way as well. Boston is coming back, according to Gene Hashkis, a realtor at William Ravies in Newton. Boston has historically outperformed the national averages um, and has not been as volatile. All three experts we spoke with think interest rates will see at most an incremental increase and have faith in the inherent strength of the regional market. So typically Boston prices stay quite stable uh, even during economic downturns due to the high demand and low supply. Most of the experts in the business are not seeing a decrease coming in median sale price anytime soon. The Campbells are excited. Their plans are working out, even though it has been nerve-wracking. Absolutely. <laughs> I mean, you take a risk and you take a chance, especially when you put an offer in and you just hope that it goes well. Mm -hmm. um, and we, I think we were really fortunate that it did. And yeah, good for them. All right, one thing that won't change this fall is you need to be prepared before you start house hunting. Make sure you're pre-approved for a mortgage, define your search area, and also establish a list of must-haves and prioritize them.